2011 uh, Buick uh, Lacrosse 3.6 um, replacing the catalytic converter the front one and the rear one so the thing I did it was uh, I removed the bolts from uh, each catalytic converter so this is the rear this is the front and as you can see I use my uh, little rope here to to hold the pipe so to remove these uh, bolts you want to use a 17 and a 15 so it's four okay so now um, I'm removing the the oxygen sensor Okay, so just put it on the side. And it's better to replace the oxygen sensors too, so if not, um, just clean this oxygen sensor right here. Clean it really good. And, uh, okay, so we got now our space available to remove the carry converters. So, uh, um, so we need to remove uh, for the rear. We need to remove uh, that cover right here. And uh, for the front one, also we need to remove the cover on the uh, top. So we're gonna remove the, the the front one first. So I'm gonna pull that. I'm gonna get the car down. Okay. So, so. The thing we can do is, uh, we can remove the oxygen sensor here, or you can remove the catalytic converter. Uh, so let's remove the oxygen sensor here because it's easier. And then we're gonna remove the cover. We're gonna use uh, number 10 millimeter, right here to remove the cover, okay? Okay, so I got my, uh, 22 millimeter special tool to remove the the oxygen sensors. Okay, so you can use an extension and a wrench to remove the oxygen sensor. Okay, so we need to clean it too, okay guys? Always, uh, I told you, it's better to get a new one, but in this case, the customer doesn't have uh, enough money. So we are going to um, clean these oxygen sensors and just gonna put it back. So now we're gonna remove this number 10. Okay, so now we're going to remove these uh, nuts right here. Those are number, oh, look at that. They even, they're not even tight. Okay, so we're gonna use number 15 and we'll try to hold it down uh, to remove the cutter converter, okay? Okay, so we're gonna use a 17 on the top and a 17 on the bottom to hold the, okay, 
to hold the knot and we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing to the other two okay okay so yeah, I'll remove the three holes right there Okay, so the carrier converter is down now. <laughs> so okay, so it's right here. Okay, so when you put the new one, uh, remember to get the uh, um, the gasket here and the gasket on the bottom too. Okay, so now uh, I'm just going to wait for the, the new part and um, I'm going to try to remove the one on the rear. It's going to be the same process. But okay, so to remove the cover from uh, the rear one, um, you can see there, so you have to remove um, have to remove uh, this one, this number 10, and this, this number 10 right here, and you can see, there's one number 10 uh, right here, right here on the top, and there's another number 10 around, let's see. I cannot see the other one. So we're gonna I'm gonna use this one. So number ten. And I stick my hair here. This is I remove the number ten. Okay. And also you need to disconnect. You need to disconnect the, uh, the oxygen sensor. Okay, so it's one over thing here. So, to see what's the other ten. Other. Okay, so I remove the number ten here. Try to see if I can remember with my hand now. There you go. So now we can remove. In this case, it only has um, two uh, two number ten. So we need to remove the cover. You need to play a little bit guys to remove this cover. So in case so you can see he has three but in this case only got two. The other one is right there but it was missing. So right there and we are going to use a 17 to remove uh, 
this nuts right there. So 17. I use this. This a wrench flex head. So you stick it like that. Stick it like that and release the, the bolt on the top. So you're gonna do the same thing on the on the other two. Okay. Cut the converter. Okay. So, so you can see, guys. Uh, I like this idea. See, the guy whoever put this cut the converter, uh, they weld the bolts. Uh, it's easier. Uh, see, it's a good idea. I'm gonna do the same thing because it's really really hard to put this one back so i'm gonna use his idea i'm gonna i'm gonna weld the bolts to the new catalytic converter and it's gonna be easy for me to you know to install just the nuts on the top okay so when you get the, the new one uh, don't don't forget to um to clean the area right there uh, you can use a, if you're not using, if you are not using a new gasket, you can, you can use this one, this uh, gasket, uh, ultra red. Uh, this is a really good uh, gasket maker for high temperature, so. So yeah guys, so when you get the new one, just clean everything really good. You use, uh, if you're gonna use the same gasket, use the silicone. And uh, and that's it guys. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do the, this idea right here. I'm gonna weld the bolts onto the carry converter. And, uh, and that's it, I just put everything back together. So I don't think I need to show you how to put it back. I guess uh, if you got questions, if you forget how, how to provide you, just watch the video again. If you got any questions, just let me know. Okay, guys, thank you very much again for watching my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, this is my first time to doing this, so if you got better ways to do it, just uh, write below on the comments. And uh, thank you guys again, and uh, see you next time.